Don't underestimate the intelligence and the power of your body and the power of the subconscious. The subconscious rules 90% of your decisions. Can you guys hear the crickets outside? They're like super loud. I wonder if you guys can hear it. So today I wanted to make a video that not a lot of manifestation teachers talk about yet what is super 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 important when i started to realize this and change this in my life my life completely changed i started to manifest instantly and i keep saying that like i keep reiterating that on the channel not because i am better than thou not because i am holier than thou but because i have done the work and because i understand how manifestation works i have been doing this for a long time i've been on this journey since 2006 is when i first discovered that this even existed so that is 16 years ago i've been noticing this even more as i get older and i if you've been following me on the channel you know that i started doing this year i started doing liver flushes now what do liver flushes have to do with manifestation we're going to talk about this in a minute but before we get into this video first of all thank you so much for being here if you're new here welcome to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it to get notified whenever i post a new video make sure you hit the like button right now i'm gonna wait for you to hit it because it helps me a lot comment down below where you are watching from i love to read where you guys are tuning in from I'm trying to get the channel to 600k by the end of the year so that would be the most amazing thing and if you know a person that would highly benefit from this video i invite you to share it with them and let's get right into this video. Back to the liver flushes. So I started doing liver flushes um, at the beginning of the year because I'm dealing with, it was mostly for health reasons. So I was dealing with some autoimmune issues that I'm currently, um, you know, I'm already healed. I'm just putting out there that I'm already healed, right? I don't really look at what the medical statement says to me i'm already healed because that version of me already exists in the quantum field but still i have to mention to you guys that i was dealing with these issues right i started doing um some research and i found out that actually cleansing your liver is so beneficial for your health because over time um the liver can store many gallstones and liver stones which can lead to so many like health complications um and all of us have some sort of some sort of amount of liver stones in our body and i was like I do not want to have liver stones and gallstones in my body. I do not want anything in my body that does not belong there. I started doing these liver flushes to improve my health. Also, I have the MHTFR gene mutation. I have to be very mindful about what I consume. I don't drink alcohol. Um, I try to consume a lot of foods like cilantro that help detoxify my liver. Anyway, I don't want to get like too much into uh, talking about our liver and our health because that's not the point of this video but what i noticed when i did these liver flushes every time these intense emotions would come up and i'm also doing the liver flushes with a friend she's on her fifth one right now so um you know we talk back and forth and share our experiences doing the flushes and she has the exact same um experience where every time these emotions come up and every time it's something different um it could be like fear of of you know there, there's been a lot of components around feeling safe in this world like lots of fears would come up sometimes things would come up that i couldn't even put words on it's just like stuff coming up and you feel like that you have to cry or you feel really irritated and you know things are moving a lot of manifestation teachers teach that you don't have to heal at all you don't have to change your subconscious mind to manifest and i agree with like i'm not saying that that is not true that is completely true like on one level but it's not an either or thing 
it's an and thing it's both you also sometimes have to clear these deep stored emotions and yuckiness and trauma that is stored in your body because your body is so intelligent your subconscious with my friend we were talking about the fact that the body is the subconscious right your body will not let you have something that it feels deep down it is unsafe for it to have so yes when you are for example manifesting a new parking spot or a new car you do not necessarily need to heal a lot of deep rooted trauma to attract those things right like who needs to heal to attract a parking spot who needs to heal to manifest like small things right i'm obsessed with creating high level living and the highest potential that a human being can achieve being here like the highest timeline that you can have the best of the best of the best i really strive to be the best that i can and when it comes to those things and when you start to really up level your life in a big way not just a small way where you're like maybe manifesting two hundred dollars here and there or you're manifesting a parking spot or you're manifesting someone texting you right like those little things i'm not saying that they don't matter they do matter um but you don't need to heal in order to attract those things to you but when it comes to let's say really stepping into your purpose in life when it comes to creating your own business when it comes to making big money i'm talking about big big money don't like to say amounts because what's big for me is gigantic for others because what's small for me may be big for others what's big for others may be small for me if we talk about big money we can all agree that making a million a month is big money so when it comes to these things you will be when you try to manifest those things let's just let's just say you will be pushed to the edge of your capabilities right in what you are capable to hold energetic wise in your body i'm speaking about money because it's just an easy example to use but you can apply this to anything let's say a million a month is a lot more to hold energetically than let's say 10k a month right and so we have these subconscious programs that we run in our bodies and we're not even aware of them because they're subconscious and it's trauma and your body is so intelligent don't underestimate the intelligence and the power of your body and the power of the subconscious the subconscious rules 90 percent of your decisions so when you have a program running in your body that says it is not safe for me to hold that kind of money because I don't know what I will do with it, I don't know how I can will handle it, or I am scared to lose it, or um, whatever type of program you're running, or you know, having to make more money means that I will have to work more and I don't want that. It could be simple things like that, those subconscious programming, you will not attract, you will not be able to create that into your life because you're the, the system that you're running is overriding that desire for you to have that reality. Does that make sense? Manifestation is easy. And when you start to rid your body of trauma and of those subconscious programs, right? Um, you start to become free and everything starts to become easier and easier and easier and it starts to become possible for you on that timeline and you know that you will be safe a lot of a manifestation like when you're manifesting huge things has to do with feeling safe does your body feel safe to having that success like oftentimes we are scared of our own power right because we have these stories we all have these lies about life and ourselves because you know something happened when we were four years old that told us that it is not safe to have a lot of money something happened when we were 11 that told us it is not safe to have certain amount of success something happened when we were 14 that told us that it is not safe to have an open heart and to love fully because we've been hurt by a douchebag so 
is all these programs that we run that we also get to do. But I just wanted to share that because not many people talk about this. So it's all about learning to be safe with the amount of success that you are trying to create, with the amount of love that you desire to have in your life, with um, with anything, just like feeling safe in your body and being able to hold that big of an energy. That is where the true work is. And when you learn to undo that, manifestation becomes easy. You manifest instantly. Things just start to happen because you no longer have that vibration in your body that tells your body it's not safe for me to have that. When we eliminate the resistance, it just happens instantly because it's energetic. You know, that's how a lot of people heal from these really serious conditions and illnesses such as cancer or MS and just autoimmune diseases and all these things. People heal instantly. They have this miraculous, spontaneous healings because once the resistance is removed, the body just naturally heals itself and that is the same thing for mental and emotional things and traumas so you will manifest instantly when you're able to rid yourself of these emotions this is something that i'm super passionate about that we do in my abundance queen academy as well as my limitless membership limitless is my manifestation school so i'm going to link these down below if you want to grab them this is my invitation for you to help you get rid of these programmings and these patterns a technique that has really really helped me is emdr there's lots of techniques that you can use and i've created a technique specifically with emdr to get rid of these programs that um, i talk about in my abundance queen academy so um, i just wanted to share that let me know your thoughts um, down below i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon